If you're listening to this on YouTube, this episode is one week delayed. Up-to-date tech show but friendly episodes are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts. Welcome to Tech Show But Friendly, Hardware Sugars Podcast, and this is your host, Anton. And just like last week, there isn't a lot of news this week, although the lack of the volume of news is made up for by the severity or the impact of the news, as we'll be talking about NVIDIA's latest 4060 card. Now, everybody whines and complains and bitches about NVIDIA, but a lot of our customers, a lot of you guys out there, still end up buying NVIDIA. AMD's market share for GPUs is very, very low. So when a new card comes out, especially a new card that's supposed to be the latest mid-range version of NVIDIA, everybody takes notice. But before that, we do have to talk about NVIDIA's competition, AMD. We talked about last week how people online have noticed that AMD exclusive titles such as Jedi Knight Survivor usually don't have NVIDIA's DLSS enabled. So for games that AMD has paid for or has put down sponsorship bucks for, the upscaling technology of NVIDIA DLSS is noticeably absent. This is in contrast to NVIDIA's marketing efforts where, yes, it will tout a game or two, but usually those games or always, those games will have AMD's FSR technology as well. As we noted last week, AMD is playing a bit dirty, where if it says that a game is AMD exclusive, it literally is. Like, they paid for the game, or they paid to slap their name on the game, and that automatically excludes NVIDIA's technologies, and NVIDIA doesn't do that, vice versa. It apparently does not require that AMD's upscaling technology be removed. And it's not a question of difficulty of enabling this technology. Apparently, it's quite straightforward to enable both DLSS and FSR. So when developers say that, well, you know, we just didn't have time and we wanted to focus on FSR because it provides better value for the consumer, blah, 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 etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that's usually only a smokescreen because those developers are the ones that are paid, literally. <laughs> endorsed or sponsored by AMD. And we talked about this last week. It came back again in the news this week because it came out that Starfield, Bethesda's very much anticipated RPG, space RPG, is an AMD exclusive in the sense that, and that means NVIDIA's DLSS technology will not be natively enabled. You can expect modders to do that for you, but all of those are unofficial patches, unofficial workarounds the developers themselves will not be enabling DLSS. So NVIDIA doesn't make it hard to enable their competitors' technology. In fact, they have made it super easy to enable all sorts of upscaling technology, theirs and competitors. But AMD is taking a different track, a more hard-headed track, a less consumer-friendly track because, I mean, admittedly, the market share belongs to NVIDIA. Very few people relatively use AMD cards. And that might be an argument for saying that, well, AMD needs to have all of the advantages it can get, but it still feels and it is very anti-consumer. AMD wants to sell its GPUs, consumer be damned. Still with GPUs, talking about NVIDIA's recently released 4060. Just this week coming out at an SRP of $300, but that's in the States, don't get excited. As we talked about in this month's Price Watch episode, our monthly YouTube episode where we analyze local Philippine prices and let you know kung mahal pa ba siya, may mga price drops pa ba, we are starting to see 3060s below 20,000. And that's like a big deal, man. That is like, wow, that is cheap. But below 20,000 is definitely less than $300. So we're paying a big premium purchasing PC parts here in the Philippines, particularly graphics cards. But everybody is excited for the 4060 because it is a reasonably priced for once GPU from NVIDIA, squarely targeted at the mid-market, mid-range consumer. $300. Is the 4060 any good? Well, I think everybody agrees that it is better markedly, like there's significant performance gain over the card it's replacing, the 3060. So no question, better than the 3060. 
just slightly below the 3060 Ti in most benchmarks. And you have to put this into perspective. It's a cheaper card. It's a more advanced card. But just because it came out later doesn't mean it's necessarily better than a lot of the other 30 series cards out there. Yun nga, usually the 3060 Ti beats it. Depending on the pricing involved, and we have seen some good prices for the 3060 Ti as well, you most probably want to go in a lot of circumstances with the 3060 Ti just in terms of performance. Compared to the card that's replacing the 3060, it is a lot more efficient. It does score significantly faster. But even on the AMD end, the 6700 XT, which was a generation ago, is roughly the same price as the 4060. It is a bunch more memory, and it will probably outperform some games compared to the 4060. So there are a lot of options, at least performance-wise, that are better than the 4060 and neck and neck with it in terms of price. The newly released AMD 7600 has apparently dropped down from SRP of 300 down to 250. And this was just, you know, it just, just released very recently and already the price drops are starting to hit it. The 3060 is a very popular card. Hitting that sweet spot for, it's still expensive, but the performance is good and I can afford it. Actually, what a lot of reviewers don't mention and which we sort of are more sensitive to because we are a shop, we do sell PC components, is that a lot of people don't really look at the reviews. What they look at is the price. And when they look at the GPU and they see that, okay, afford ko to, kaya ko to, kuhunin ko siya. Even if the value proposition, even if the performance for the price isn't necessarily that great. The 4060 Ti, which was universally panned. Gamers Nexus called it one of the worst GPU launches in recent memory. Sobrang pangit ng price to performance niya. And yet, based on sales, what we've seen, the 4060 Ti is actually quite popular because it is an affordable card. Tapos that alone pa tong 4060. A lot of people don't want to have to think anymore and to compare. Okay, may 4060, pero kukumpara ko pa sa previous generation AMD na okay rin naman daw yung 6700 XT. Mas lalo pa kaya okay yung 6750 XT. Tapos dun sa previous generation ng NVIDIA, kukumpara ko pa ba yan dun sa 3060 Ti. So there's a lot of like, I don't want to think anymore. Even if I look at the reviews, they're very hard to follow for somebody who's just jumping into the PC space for the first time. All they want is the newest generation at a good price. And definitely the 4060 looks good on paper. You see the headlines, na mas mabilis siya kaysa sa 3060 na pinilitan niya. Okay naman yung presyo. Maraming kakagat dun. And as enthusiasts, it's very easy to get caught up in the, Oh, I watch Linus. Oh, I watch Gamers Nexus. And oh, I read Tom's Hardware. And all of those things. Yes, it's very good to be informed. But the market at large will just see that the 4060 is much more efficient and much more powerful than the card it replaces, the 3060, at a very decent price. Period. Full stop. If I'm in the market, I'm gonna get it. So still a slow news week, so we're gonna end with just one last story from gaming this time. Apparently Dota is moving away from the Battle Pass model. The developers admitted that, you know, not a lot of people really buy them and we want to devote more of our time to improvements that everybody can enjoy. They specifically pointed to the New Frontiers patch, which was free for everybody, but introduced a ton of changes, a ton of improvements. And the feedback from that was very positive. I'm sure helped by the fact that you didn't need to pay for it. And so the developers want to focus on more content like that. Free content that they had more time to develop that makes more of an impact with the average gamer. Now, the cosmetics, the pay-to-look-pretty mechanic of Dota 2 and many other games won't be going away. But the insistence, the hype, the focusing on the battle pass, at least for this season, will not be there because the developers are making a conscious effort, a conscious decision to develop content that is not immediately monetizable, but is fun, is useful, it's practical, it makes it better for old players and new players alike. So there I say it, Valve is actually not looking to skim more money off you, but is actually looking to extend the value of a free game. I mean, you know, Dota 2 
is one of the oldest names in the MOBA scene. And you don't need all of those cosmetics to enjoy it. And you won't need to pay extra to enjoy the added mods, added features, added UI that the developers are pouring into it. All right, super short, guys. It's summer in the Western countries, so I think not much news. Good for me. I don't necessarily want these podcasts to go longer. And I do cherry pick the news that I find to be the most interesting. Have a good day whenever you're watching this, and please tune in again next week for the next episode of Tech Show But Friendly. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.